Welcome back to Hearts of Arm 4, Supplies, Subs and Spies. Spain has joined the Axis and has taken Gibraltar. And now we've been drawn into a into a stalemate here on land because the supply situation is awful. Though we've been, though we're working on that. By virtue of um having built having built another an increased naval base and railway. We also managed to fight off a naval invasion of of Ireland, which I'm sure these troops are feeling quite happy about. Basically, if you're invading Ireland in Hearts of My Four, do not target Wicklow. It's mountains. Or Wexford. Hills. There's an attack penalty on top of the, the uh, penalty from naval invasions. But don't forget, we have submarines and air supply, air support. I swear this uh, Soviet spirit of stabilized things. So it's a bit hard to tell. That seems to be in a bit of a stalemate in China. In fact, that was one of the reasons I wanted to invade Bordeaux and La Rochelle. Try and open another front and take some of the pressure off them. Unfortunately, the Spaniards. There's did a bit of a number on, on that. bother getting getting these now because they're just not worth the push yet. Constance would be. These guys do not have nearly enough supply enough supply here. You can see supplies are all back are all backed up. Just not enough ports. And just for the hell of it, I am gonna build Another railway there. I don't know why we even have this railway. Why do we even have that lever? Although since railways are cheap to build, I may... I keep pushing this off. So, they have air superiority over us. It's making doing this sort of thing very difficult. Another two submarines coming. I'm gonna go, go back to convoys because we are going to need them. I need to remember why I usually go with fighters. We cannot build these in ally territory. Ah. They're still nice. Biggest stalemate is the Western Front in World War One. Let's Eric's be oh for Christ's sake, not again. Monster. It's the tactical bomber against that. And the submarines are doing their work. You can see. Yeah.
Ray is provide is providing a negative penalty. Kills attack penalty from naval invasion. It's just gonna keep going boop 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 back and forth like this. Like really. And now I'm back to the fact that back to the old. I do not have nearly enough. Oh, they actually brought they actually brought ships to bombard us this time. Yeah, they brought they brought up the Italian fleet. I don't think it's gonna be enough, guys. For entrenchments. Oh yeah. Yeah, supplies are no longer going through there. They have to go all the way around. I'm gonna try pushing these guys into a real into a real spearhead. Problem is we're outnumbered. Switch to a disco bombing at night. We're not going to do as much, but we're less likely to get spotted. give these guys some extra trains and trucks but they don't have nearly enough of that fly status 39% 40 There's a lot of supply needed here, just not enough of it getting through. The reason why I'm doing this now is so that we can link up this section here, try and avoid that naval breakfast there. Well, looks like the Brits have had enough. They've decided to re try retaking Gibraltar, or landing here at least. Let's try... Well, that really counts as two there. Hmm.
We have air superior. Did we? Really? We're losing quite a few troops doing this. This had better be worth it, Britain. So they're starting to push up here, where the French are. French, British, Belgian, Irish, South African, British. Over here, the Yanks, Polish, British, Yanks. And the Soviet destroyer lost. That. We'll be able to do more. You complete an utter act. Not sure what that's a reference to. Down the convoys. Oh, we got the Yugoslavians and the Yanks coming. What's our preferred tactic be? I think suppressive barrage. Other attack? Come on, guys, you didn't learn the last few times? <sighs> Losing a lot of tactical bombs doing this. We do have a have some of the Yanks and Brits helping us here. Now the Italians are hunting in North Africa. We do have quite a few naval bases around here to screw around with that, so it's not that big of a problem. They're surrounded and have no supply, so... Not gonna be as good. Those aren't going to be all that useful to me because chromium and steel are, are a bit hard to come by, but these might be, plus the extra engine. Yeah, these I mean.
the so front line's been steadied around here. These guys are still causing a bit of a problem. They're surrounded. The only thing we can really do now is keep, try and keep the pressure on. And... Lost this. Hey! This is by railway level. to change these to light armored say so it would save some of our trucks for supplies we'll provide some armor and some heart attack I think I'm gonna do it overseas we'll keep using the trucks just to for Done. I'm gonna start researching fighters. I should have done that before. attacking but they have low supply and plate piercing means we don't need to worry about their armor I should just force a push fleet stack Was a bad idea. Really dumb fucking idea. Small deficit of these. We have quite a few stocks built up. This tank isn't much use. Problem is, we simply do not have the troops for this.
These two together. Might, might actually put these two, the, the Marine Divisions here with her, the seas just to give some extra fire support because not just they're going to be short in supply, but guys are better at attacking. That's coming along. Let's put this up a bit. That we can get the supplies through that way as well. This is gonna put this, turn this into a bottleneck, but it'll take some of the pressure, some of the pressure off. Focus on these two, I think, to try and keep, keep the enemy supplies from coming out. Back in the hop, back on the sub on those. Seamer gets out of that provides point. Her up with. Oh. Time to push, boys. Let's get the Brits some fire support there. One Royal Marine Division. Great idea there, lads. We're having a massive problem with all this. Supply and air support here. We're starting to run out of bombers. Even up for one full wing, that's lower than I would like.
They're targeting Linster again. So is that how this is going to work? We basically bleed them dry by ship. Yeah, that would be an interesting way to to fight this. Hey, we've got this this island that's the back door into Britain. Might be worth attacking. But what do you mean we're losing all our all our people of Invaders base? Why have we anyone left? Ah! Something like that. Oh dear. Yeah. Soviets are screwed. Now the Brits have obviously decided to go for the Italian mainland around Genova. Trying to link up between Torino and Geneva is not working out too well. Elsewhere. We actually have a slightly better chance. Let's go time, guys. Be pushing. I'm not liking the look of that. Guards are counter-attacking. Failed. We're pushing. Slowly. They're holding. Yeah, attacking onto mountain terrain, you really do not want to do that if you can avoid it. Hard attack and piercing, yeah, that would probably be helpful. Oh, we're starting to put, we're starting to push them back. Oh, let the supply, and let the supplies come, ah shit, they just pushed us back. Transports, shit balls. Add supply. Tell me about it. Got this one little bastard here. We don't have not. We've only ninety-four percent of the province, so we can't get all the supply in. Lack of air superiority here. Really hurting. Well, so Iran is now officially at war with us. Oh, this guy's sitting right here doing nothing. That should help. Yep. That's not going to work because it's right over a bridge, over a river. It's going a little bit in our favor.
These ones aren't going well. This is last another nine days. Slightly in our favor. Ooh. Looks like we're pushing. Agavala, Wookley. attack on them isn't going well, but their counterattack isn't going well either. Brits are still holding Geneva. If we can take Sears out, we can probably help our supply lines quite a bit. attack because the Germans are attacking us. Darn. Losing some more support from that. Get your propaganda as a one self. To save that now I think about it but troops are we actually bleeding out of them this way? Huh. We're second place for total casualties caused to the, to the Italians. And to the Germans? Like... No bar protecting the railways, guys. Or airfields. Focus on the coasts. Crap. <sighs> this is not going well.
get out of Wekla, will ya? Why I do it this way it just looks tidier to me. One vision here. Engineer. The hospitals have get them back. Or artillery because it costs nothing and we have artillery to spare. Or anti air because they do pretty well. Need them. And I'm just going to call these Fomorian infantry because. Fomorians live in the mountains. Ethna, get to work. Very high command is in some damage, but they're getting there. Next all save, I think that's going to be it. If they're if they're willing to throw away all their men on futile invasions, it's perfectly fine by me. Don't expect me to do anything other than laugh at you. So, summarize, the Brits are now are now counterattacking on the Italian mainlands, attack Spain. We're very slowly pushing the Spanish and Germans back out of North Africa. Elsewhere, the Soviets are not looking too good. Chinese are holding. There's, the Yanks have done done a naval invasion of Japan, but not doing very well there. And we have fought off multiple naval invasions of Ireland. Still got, and there's still one in progress. But for now, that's going to be it for now. See you in the next one.